The following video will provide instructions for accessing and cleaning the motor armature commutator on your Femi 782, 782 XLH, or ABS 105 utility bandsaw. If the motor will not start, runs sluggish, only starts when the arm is up, or possibly sparks are visible through the vents in the motor cover, it is possible that there is a glaze on the part of the motor where the motor brushes make contact with the armature, called the commutator. This is a relatively easy repair, and this video will provide step-by-step -step instructions on cleaning the commutator. First, verify that electrical power is disconnected from the saw. Because the process involves accessing some electrical components, electrical shock can occur if the saw remains under electrical power during the procedure. Use a screwdriver to remove the screws that fasten the motor cover and remove the motor cover and set it aside. Next, use two small flat blade screwdrivers to gently pry the fan up and off of the motor shaft. There will be a thin dust cover beneath the fan that must also be lifted off the motor housing. There are two carbon motor brushes, one located on each side of the motor housing. These solid carbon brushes ride against the armature commutator that will be cleaned. There will be an electric wire lead that is connected with a clip to each motor brush. Gently pull the wires up slightly and out away from the motor housing to make it easier to remove the motor brushes from the motor housing. Using a small flat blade screwdriver, gently pry the motor brush loose from the motor housing. Then simply use your fingers to remove the brass receptacle and motor brush. Follow the same procedure for the motor brush on the other side of the motor. The commutator is now exposed enough to enable cleaning. The motor shaft can be spun by hand, but it is more efficient to use an adjustable speed drill set on slow speed to spin the armature while holding a folded strip of fine grit abrasive cloth against the armature commutator. Do not put your fingers into the motor housing slot to apply pressure to the abrasive cloth as it is not safe to do so. Instead, move the abrasive cloth around side to side to get more exposure to the copper commutator. Fold the abrasive cloth several times to make it more rigid and to make it small enough to fit into the slot in the motor housing. It is not necessary to clean the commutator until it is perfectly shiny, but the black glaze should be noticeably removed. When the copper surface on the commutator appears to be substantially cleaner, the motor brushes can be reinstalled by pressing each one in until there is a slight click, and then press the wire leads back against the motor housing. Once the motor brushes have been reinstalled, it is advisable to use compressed air to blow the armature and motor housing out to remove any loose carbon dust that has collected. Reassemble by placing the thin dust cover back onto the motor housing, then gently pressing the fan back down over the motor shaft, making sure the fins are facing downward towards the motor. Spin the fan by hand and verify that the fan is not rubbing against the dust cover beneath it or around the edges. Reinstall the motor cover being careful that the wires are tucked in and then tighten down the two fastener screws in the motor cover that hold the cover to the motor housing. Reconnect the electrical supply and test the motor. If there are still problems with the performance of the motor, Contact the HENM utility saw representative for more help. 